What is up, my people? Today is the first day of food and wine. Coming to meet Gamble. It's really cloudy, which is nice. It's definitely gonna rain at some point. So, Gamble beat me here for the first time in the history of mankind. That dude is always late. Um, so I'm gonna meet him up by the tram line. We're gonna try a few things, and we're gonna get out of here, because I have a paper due at seven. Look at this lonely dude. Hi, Gamble, welcome back. <laughs> Crazy, you were on time today. I know, that's a first. That's a weird thing. What do you wanna try today? I gotta try that pickle milkshake. And I, I really don't wanna do that. Okay, what you wanna do, we gotta try it. We're journalists. It's already starting to rain. Gamble's already complaining, so it's gonna be a real short day. Absolutely. I'm most excited for Ireland, because obviously I'm very Irish. <laughs> I'm not excited for the pickle shake. Are you a pickle dude? Uh, I'm not answering that. Beautiful magic of a construction wall and Patrick Gamble. All right, it's 12 o'clock, so that booth should be open. So is the bar. Can you just not be an alcoholic for two seconds? This line already. I cannot believe we're waiting this long for a pickle shake. <laughs> See, even they know. Are you actually excited to try it? Or is that what you Okay. Do you like pickles? I love pickles. Okay. Do you have faith that it's gonna be good though? Or is it a gimmick? <laughs> he's just, he's, not he's a on my side. I don't ask him. Might be all right. Yeah, right, all right? Yeah. Cause he's a pickle guy. Yeah. And he thinks also it's gonna be all right. Yeah. Love a pickleback, so. Picklebacks? Yeah. You don't like picklebacks? No, How do you like, like pickles and not like picklebacks? It's very good. Does it taste like pickles? It has pickle, but it has a pina colada aftertaste. If you understand why pregnant women like ice cream. <laughs> That's, this is a <laughs> wild this start to the day already, Ben. This is insane. Okay, Ben says it's really good. Gamble's not fake. And he also, Ben also told me, I'll understand why pregnant women love ice cream and what? Pickles? Yeah, it's that and Peanut butter and jelly wings? What is this booth? That's not happening today, that's happening tomorrow. They are good? Have you had everything here? We're talking to Ben. I don't know if he's allowed to be on video, so I don't want to put him on video, but I, I don't know what the rules are. Hi, so you've had the peanut butter jelly wings, the pickle shake, and what else? Uh, the fusion's okay. The fusion's okay? It's a little tart. A little tart, okay. Pickle shake today, peanut butter jelly wings on Saturday or Sunday recommendations of Ben. So if it's bad, it's not my fault, it's Ben's fault. We just did the just did the pickle shake review. It's up if you've seen it. This is I can't tell if it's good or not. I still don't. There's like there's there's hope. I'm on the TV. No, it's bad. This is gross. It's so heavy. This is like a five pound weight. I could do lateral raises with this. What's yours? Uh, the fusion with the two the different tea and orange ice cream. Fusion was good. He gave it an 8.3. He said this is amazing. He's like, yo, go try this. I gave it like a 6.1. Like, if you miss it, you're not missing much, but it's good. Skip the, pot, skip the pickle. If you're a pickle person, go for it. If you're not, trust me, you can miss it. You almost threw it away there. You thought I really, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I saw the open trash slot and I went like this and then I pulled back. <laughs> So I literally was about to. So Gamble goes, try this again and tell me it doesn't taste like the Flintstone Pusher Pops you get from the ice cream truck when you were a kid. Kids of these generations won't know what that is. What Gamble doesn't know is he's old as dirt and I'd never had that in my life because the best thing to get from an ice cream truck was a screwball. You get the Sonic the Hedgehog. No, the wrestler ice cream sandwich? Yeah. That was a goat. A Gamble, you want to get a waffle and he goes, it's too many carbs. If there's anybody out there that can save me, somebody else coming to me to food and wine. He also wanted to go to Rosen Crown, a bar we go to 365 days a year at Epcot. On the first day, he wanted to go get a beer there instead of one of the booths. Facts. It's worth it. It's you good. suck. All right, we found something. Moon on the water sake. What do you think that tastes like? It's very flavorful. You're going to have to try the fire roll. You've never had sushi. I've never had sushi a day in my life. Do you yeah. think that's a good starter sushi? Is it? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're in trouble. <laughs> All right, review time. I've never had sushi. First time ever. I don't even know what to do with it. Do I just pick it up? Just pick it up. I feel like this is incorrect. That's not... What is the sauce? Uh, it's like a spicy mayo. What is this called? Fire what? Fire taiko roll. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. I've never had sushi though, so I don't know if that's supposed to be good sushi or bad sushi. 9-7. A 9-7? I love sushi. This is phenomenal. A 9 Do you realize how high of a score that is? Yes. Totally worth it. I'd get that again. I'm giving it a 4-3. I think it was eh. 
But I don't know sushi, so take it from him. If you like sushi, he just gave it a 9.7. That's yeah. insanity what you just threw out there. It's fresh, it's light, it's easy, especially on a hot day. Well, this one's all yours, I guess. What is this? The Sake Passion Cocktail. Woo! That is strong. It's kind of like a screwdriver, though. This is where the kick out. That's I mean, a problem. It's good, though. It's like a 6.8. 6.8, not bad. Is it you're agreeing with me? For one I time, didn't know for if you were going to give it a 10.2 at this point. <laughs> Can I give something a 10.2? No, it goes 1 through 10, and there is no 10s, there's no zeros. There's no such thing as a 10. Okay, we got to redefine that zero rating, though, because there are some things that are worth zero. You can do zero point something, but, like, you can't give it a zero and you can't give it a 10. It's got to be pretty much, it's got to be between point zero one and... 9.99. This is why I just leave all this social media stuff to you. We'll be back for what else we're we gonna try? A moon of water sake is fifteen dollars. So I need paid. I need to get paid tomorrow before we can film <laughs> that one. And, and then, then uh, uh, beef wagyu. What did you say? Go ahead, say that one more time. Hold on. No, 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 no. God. Beef wagyu don. Beef wagyu don. Yeah. If you are my art history teacher and you're reading the paper that I'm about to write today on Roman Egyptian architecture. Just know, <laughs> this is why it's all misspelled. <laughs> all right, relax, I'm at a stop sign. That's why I'm filming, but we unfortunately had to leave. Started downpouring, I'm soaked. I'm ready to take a nice shower. Um, we might pop back, but if we don't, this is the end of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll be back to film a couple more days at Food & Wine, try a couple different things. So those are coming soon. Appreciate you watching. See you.